no way to include a repeater, right? Because that's what we get with this gap here, is we get the ability to put a repeater and to continue on the signal. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Minecraft episode 20 where we've decided to come back to our base a little bit and do some work hey there colton iron sword how's it going um mostly because we're using our sugar cane at a pretty alarming rate you see we actually need a lot of paper for trading and unlocking the librarians and that takes a lot of books and so we're using it pretty fast uh, which is a little concerning so I've made some changes. So first of all, I've changed this to doubling up the pistons. Um, all except here, because again, you get your uh, infinite repeating loop if you do that. But I've doubled up the pistons on all of the sugarcane farm. So that this way, when it triggers, we don't have any loss. Because before we were suffering some loss on the topmost of the, uh, the sugarcane when it would the pistons would activate and they would push and here we've we've lost a little bit of sugar cane in some of these areas because we had some water flowing um and that loss that loss of sugar cane while minor adds up and i did a run through because we have so many of them and the losses are exponential i did a run through where after the farm activated i went through and looked at all of the and ran every every swoop of water here so that I could get an accurate count of roughly how much sugar cane we were losing per activation and it was almost a stack. So that being unacceptable as it was, I've decided to spend the resources, the wood, the iron, the redstone, and double up all of our pistons. Uh, we just need to make sure that one more of these Did not get lost here, and I think we can access this here. We just dig this way. So obviously this one was fine and didn't lose anything, because how could it if there was no access to it? And then I don't believe the top is going to activate in our current configuration. So we actually we need to get this squared away, because right now we just have this one activation and then, oh no, that activates from over there, right? Okay, so it does activate. Let's follow this, this little chain of redstone up here. And then we can also see over there, okay, that sugar cane is planted and we've doubled up all of these pistons. Um, I still don't think it's enough. I don't think we're getting enough sugar cane per activation simply because it grows so slowly. So we have a fix for that, actually. And that's going to be that we're going to expand the sugar cane outward by a couple of rows. Did we just impact some redstone there? What happened? What was that? This is interesting. Okay. It appears like it's all activating now. Because if we hop up and we look at the very top of it, here you can see they've all had their... Yeah, none of them are at the, the third height. Okay. So we fixed that we're, we fixed our losses on the sugarcane farm. But it's still not large enough. So let's go ahead. We're going to get two more. One, two. And we're going to expand horizontally. I still only want one detector block. I want them all to happen at the same time. Uh, what am I doing? I'm just expanding sugar cane farm. I'm just expanding my sugar cane farm for the channel. Now, I don't think, I think if we run along this direction, at some point we're actually going to break into our trying to think of when see that's that goes by the portal right these are the old stairs um, at some point though we're going to bust into our potion room if we're not careful 
And I don't really want that. My plan, though, let's see if we can if we can look at it from here. My plan, however, is going to be to drop um, water down this way. Episode one before I started. So the water will come down here and carry and carry on. So what we need to do is make sure that we have room to go over eight in this direction. And that being said, I don't think we're going to worry about making this pretty because the idea is that this area over here will be somewhat hidden. So if we just carve a little bit in this direction, let's see, you're not really going to be able to see in this direction, but this is where it would start. Mm, because what I want is my water. So if I put the bucket of water here, you can see it pushes over a little far and I'm not, cause, cause what you'll get is it could get caught on that section. So what we actually need is for the water to just barely step down. Hmm. I think the best way to do that, right on. I think the best way to do that is going to be, let's see, we, we definitely have three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows this direction. And then the one space in between. So I'm thinking we could put something here, like a sign or something, but then that, that's going to ruin the aesthetics of it. And I don't want to do that. If we dig just eight, eight blocks in this direction, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Part of the problem we run into with this setup, even though the water ends up balancing perfectly, is that now we won't get this block unless we want to, to change the aesthetics of how this looks. Which, you know, that, that really might not be the worst thing in the world. So we don't have sand to make it all look the same. But then you see, when you're standing there, you're going to be able to see through the glass here. I'm trying to do this without changing the aesthetics that much. Huh. Why is there glowstone here? I'm curious. Is this where the potion room is? Because if that's the case... Mmm, that is where the potion room is. That might change a few things. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's go grab a bed so we're not keeping um, Colton from being able to sleep, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and we got our bed, and now we won't be holding anybody up. But it appears, while we were doing that... That uh, snakes, snakes was killed by a zombie pigman, and all his stuff fell in the lava. So, mm, I'm very sorry to hear that. That's sort of the worst. I think right up there with falling into the void. So, so that's not too bad being able to see in that direction. Well, uh, Snakes, if you do need any extra supplies, um, my place is always open. If I've got it out and about, you're welcome to help yourself. Just please don't take it all, but, but for sure, you can easily catch yourself back up, I, I hope. I do hope. I know we've all been there. Ah, so this is going to really impact our ability to do this. So we're going to have to step up twice. Which, oh, well, wait, wait, maybe not. Hold on. Let's see what it looks like if I dig this over here. Okay, so this is actually the center ceiling of our potion room. So if we merely dig up another time... Hmm. 
that puts us back in the situation of needing a way to stop the water from overflowing and creating that extra extra high little area here now part of the one of the ways we could do this is to pick up this water oh yep and that that shut down our sugar cane there I should have known grab this right and then what we'll do is we can put one here like this and then we're still going to get that overflow but at least because there's no source block this water will be pulling down which it, it would have been pulling down already but I think that's I think that's just going to be how we have to use it unless we want to step up on the second or third level. Which, realistically, why wouldn't we do that? Alright, let's go back up to the next level and we'll just we'll just see from there. I keep seeing bits of redstone popping and floating around. All right, so this is this would be the third level. This would be the second level. All right, so if we continue from the second level here, this won't be as visible because it's up higher. Yep, and in fact, I think this is our direction we're going to go. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we need seven and eight. Wonderful, that'll take care of everything. Put the water here. It carries the stuff that way. Boom. So then what we need is for this to be dirt. And all of this is going to have to be dirt as well. Places for the sugar cane to grow. So it's going to have to be dug up to be three high. There we go. Which, this works as well because we also, we need stone. We haven't got a mending book or a trader yet that, that handles mending books. Um, but we can't just do every video about doing trades at the village. So we have to uh, diversify our efforts. And I know we're going to need more paper. As much as we have, we're not exactly just stacked. And, pay and sugar is one of those things I like to have lots and lots of. So this is where all of our pistons will go. It's actually a pretty easy extension, and that's why I like to build my sugarcane farms like this, is it really just, it makes life a lot easier. Let's see, I think if we put a little bit of diorite here just to kind of make it look a little bit the same. And then our pistons will go along here. And then up one. There you go, and voila. Now this area is expanded. And we're gonna go ahead and dig over in this direction because there's a real easy way to connect them. Now one of the things I had to do when I installed the second row of pistons, uh, even though I kind of did it without talking through it, is I had to raise up the block with the redstone because if you do a block if you do a run of redstone wait why is this piston not oh oh right 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 oh, without a gap without that gap there is no way there is no way to include a repeater Right, because that's what we get with this gap here, is we get the ability to put a repeater and to continue on the signal. And that's what we need here as well. I think the easiest way to do that, let's go ahead and get our redstone down. As we know, oh, there it goes. We know we're going to need the redstone down here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only seven. Right, right, because of this block here, which we tore up. That, that's fair enough. I think the solution... Um, let's see, we could just do away with this final block of sugar cane, but I would like to find an elegant solution, is really what I would like to do. Okay, so I think I figured it out. The most elegant solution, near as I can tell, is just that we need to carry the circuit around and over to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat the circuit down this way, and cut it across until it breaks out, and then we can feed it up on the other side. Pretty easy peasy. And we broke over one too soon. That's fine. We can replace that. Let's get our uh, block in place here. Boom. So then what we're going to have is this circuit will feed in this direction. So we're just going to go under everything. And then we'll come up on this side. Now this means if we want to extend it again, we'll absolutely have to come up with a different system. But realistically, we could just mm, we could piggyback off of this. We could just run it further in this direction, and then stair step it up. Okay, problem solved. I know I know now what we're doing. And that's going to be. Hold on. Right. So it's going to be a repeater here. And then we're just going to do gravel and redstone all the way down. No torch here. It's going to be a little dark, a little ominous. I don't think anything can spawn here, though. Right. And then from here... We do the repeater like that, and we can give it a test, which is what we got our redstone torch for. Boom, and it does indeed activate on down the line, which is good. So from here, oh, killed by the drowned. I'm so sorry, snakes. That stinks really bad. Now, in order to keep that from continuing in that direction, we need to block it off like that, which means we'll need to find another way to get over here, and it could just be that we have to run through the glass area. Which I'm actually okay with that. Now, let's do our test, and let's see what it looks like. We know we're going to need to carve this out, so we might as well just carve it out now. And that'll help us get back and run our test. And what we should see is when we put our torch down, that whole row should light up and activate. And now we're going to be breaking into... Oh, I'm sorry, snakes. Alright, let's see. Uh, but that's a bad test. That still gets us there. Right? One, two, three, four. That should still get us there. Alright, and we don't have to dig that out. But we are going to need to dig another row of these out here on this side. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Belay my last. This is where the pistons are going to go, and they're going to stack there. So what we need is over here, 
This will be sugar cane. And this will be water. Perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to need to go up one more than the previous one because everything is going to be up one higher. There we go. We've got our torches up at the top. Now we actually need that cobblestone. All right, we'll hold the map in our hand. I didn't want to hold my map in the hand for this episode. Oh, you know what we can do? I forgot. We have the convenience of being able to throw our stuff into the water, and it'll go to our storage box uh, where the sugar cane is piling up. And then it's just one less thing to worry about. Okay, now we have plenty of room in our inventory. And this is going to need to be dug up for how high the sugar cane will reach. Okay, not to worry though, we have everything we need to continue without having to stop. Now I realize this is actually a lot of resources to invest in sugarcane. And you might find in your experience that it's not worth this many resources. I think some people have told me, you know, they just, they farm some skeletons. They do a skeleton spawner and then they get a lot of bone meal and then they just rapid grow their sugarcane. And uh, that's fine. You know, that's that's one of the things I like. Oh, died again. Mm. That's one of the things that is so nice. Um, how did you die and then join? I think the game is messing with you now. It's so nice about Minecraft is there are so many different ways to achieve the same results. Voila, there you have it. Now we have an extra row of sugarcane on this side and an extra row of sugarcane on the other. And thus our production will be sped up now. And we should have the stuff to do that again. So we're going to go one level higher. And we're going to do all the same stuff exactly the same way. So now this would be level three. And we're just going to do the same thing here. We're going to change these blocks to dirt. We're going to dig this out. And we're going to get ourselves quite a few rows. Ah, there we go. Some iron. Always a benefit of building into mountains. It's all the ore you get. All right, let's get our torches set up here. So we can go there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now what will be nice is when we can get, when we do finally get mending on our tools, we'll be able to dig this stuff out at very fast speed. Which is sort of one of the reasons why when I'm starting in a game before I have a mega tool, which I've been incredibly unlucky with the books that I have fished up from fishing. Uh, but by the time you get a mega tool, you can clear this stuff out incredibly fast. And then that makes large scale projects that much easier to commit to. And we have the pistons. Now what we don't have are buckets of water. That is the one thing we are hurting for. But I think we can go ahead and we can get everything else in place. And then come here and do the buckets and do the sugar cane afterwards. There we go. This is going to be our level here. We can get that map out of our inventory again. All 
All right, and we're going to do the same thing we did before, where we sort of trick the system. So it's going to involve a redstone repeater here, followed by... Let's go ahead and... Oh, see? That's where we're going to run into problems. There is an easier way to do it, so I'm going to go grab some buckets of water, and then we'll come back and... We'll uh, we'll set we'll set everything back up. Okay, so the solution this time is going to be a little different, but sort of the same. And I don't know if uh, you remember why, or you remember that last time I did this, I dug two down and then I filled it in with one block, so that the redstone wasn't going down any further than it needed to. Uh, the reason for that um, is actually more apparent here than ever because the whole reason for that is so that you don't break through the ceiling of your other level. And then we actually need to go one over, which is going to be the redstone here, which will charge that block. And then stair step you back in the other direction. It's it's virtually the same as before, only we're not going to use our diorite. We're going to use, and we can't use gravel in this scenario, so we're going to use dirt. And then of course we have to block that one up so the signal does not get carried on in any kind of infinite loop shenanigans. And then all that's left is to do the same to the other side. And of course, it'll also mean we need to put down our buckets of water and our sugar cane. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And here we need our pistons like this. We don't need the blocks above them carried out. Let's see here. Let's go this way. Right. That means our dirt level for our sugar cane will go here and the water will sweep down in this direction. Thanks is where are you? I'm inside my sugar cane farm at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and count it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we are. And we're being buried in gravel now. And you know what else? That ruined our water flow. Son of a gun. Okay, always take care of the gravel first. And then we'll have it. Let's see, that's one, two. We might have dug a... Is that, is that eight? That seems like a little more than eight. It might be. There's Colton looking for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And of course, we're going to need the three high for the sugar cane to grow. Mm -hmm. And that's where the gravel's going to come in. This should be the last one, right? Absolutely it is. Wonderful. So then we just need to take our pistons. One and two. One, 
two. And then we're going to have to handle this. Dig this out. Put our torches up. So then all we need is one bucket of water. And then we're good. That's all we need. So let's go say hi to Colton. Hello. All right, let's go get some water from the well. Hello. Oh, I just noticed I put a W there. All right, so we get our final bucket of water. We head all the way back over and, oh, we can't do that anymore. Oh, it used to be so nice running down the tracks. Now we have to run down this section. That's all right, though. Small change. And then sugar cane. Uh, yes, there is plenty of food in the chest, in the food for the hungry chest in the visitor's center. Help yourself. That's why it's there, of course. Anything I put in the visitor's center or even down here, you're welcome to help yourself to it. That's what it's there for. And so now what we have is we have two extra rows of sugar cane on either side of the line for two stories worth. So effectively half a stack more of sugar cane being farmed. And hopefully that coupled with the fact that we're now running it in a lossless format means that we'll be able to catch our sugar cane stocks back up to a point where they're they're good to go. So let me go and make sure that Colton knows where the food is. Follow me. Here you go. Nice. Oh, you were hungry. There you are. <laughs> Delicious. Nice. That's about where we're going to wrap up this episode. As we've fully expanded our sugar cane, I'm going to get back to working on the highway and the village. I'm off camera in between this episode and the next one. Uh, but this has been Minecraft episode 20. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Just remember that if you have had a good time watching, it really helps me out if you drop a like on the video. And also, if you want to see my videos as soon as they come out, you can always subscribe and ring the bell. But until next time, take care.